I'm Brian the Blue, and welcome back to Current Calamities, where I take a break from the past to look forward to the future with the games of the present. So, you're a fan of Pokemon, presumably, so you must like the anime series. So I'm gonna quiz you right now. Do you remember the episode where Ash got turned into a Pikachu? <laughs> Did you know they also turned that into a game? Loosely. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the roguelike genre of Pokemon titles, makes its return onto the Switch with a new coat of paint to better show us Pokemon coming together to rescue their own. That's very much what we need right now. To come together, right now, over me. The Beatles references keep on coming. I never did play the original Red or Blue or any games from the series up to this point, but I have played my fair share of spin-off games. Um, Pokemon Pinball, anyone? But I have it on me now, perhaps a little late, but hey, I need something to take my mind off Animal Crossing. So, um... Before I start a new game, I notice this Admire Illustration button, which is funny to me. Don't see that at all. But it is nice artwork, and a sign of what to come. We are greeted by text that tells us the world of Pokemon lies beyond the portal. But before we are let through, the text wants to ask us some random questions. This is to basically understand your moral character, and I got some hard hitters, let me tell you. With that, the text determines I was... Sassy? This game knows my past. Look at that sass! But this was also to determine the recommended Pokemon at first. I didn't want to be Trico, and I almost chose Eevee. But I went with Chikorita because it was a part of the first episode of the anime I remember watching, plus it could evolve into a Bayleaf. That one's cool. I also had to choose a buddy, Charmander because... Duh. And with that, we now can begin our journey anew. We are awakened by our newfound friend Charmander, who I named Charcoal for no real reason. He points out that we are now a Chikorita, even though we remember being a human at some point. But I introduce myself and get laughed at. Play video games for escapism, they said. But the formalities get interrupted by a helpless Butterfree who urges us to rescue her baby Caterpie that fell into a cavern. We do so without hesitation, thus beginning the tutorial level. The basic gist here is that in these mystery dungeons, we have to go about the dungeon going from floor to a certain floor in order to complete the task. You can also find enemies to battle it out with and items to collect. Keep an eye on your map to make sure you don't get lost, and I think the best way to describe this is like Pokemon Rumble, another game I haven't played, but chess-like. Squares are my reasons for my words. We finally reach the Caterpie and reunited with its mother, which not only makes us feel good, but get us some admiration and some rewards. We follow Charcoal back to his humble abode that we now can call home. We also form our rescue team right then and there. But what do we call it? Jacobians? No, no, no. Pikachu? No. Um... Blues! Yeah, because we're anything but. And with that, that's how the prologue ends. Now we can truly begin the game. We wake up the next morning still the same Chikorita as yesterday. I go out to find Charcoal not setting the grass on fire. We need that special greenery in our world because everything's burning. Right now we get a basic tutorial of the hub world over the next two in-game days. We live in our own hobbit-esque town with many species living together. They can store our items and money amongst other things, plus we can go to the post office to find jobs if we don't already get any in our mailbox. You can accept up to eight jobs at a time and more areas can open up to you. I try to find the most jobs in a common area and make my way in for a hard day's night of rescuing. All jobs can be done if in the same mystery dungeon and they'll most likely be on a different floor from one another. The challenge is still apparent and it can get a bit tough, but I found it to be somewhat easy starting off which made it good to learn quickly what to keep an eye on like your stomach meter alerting you to stay healthy, and it's always good to keep up on health. You'll also notice that the dungeons won't be entirely the same when you enter it, keeping the mystery factor in its name. 
In Between Days, we get more insight about our past in the form of vague dreams. Though we can't decipher what they mean, we approach Charcoal with our dreams, and he asks us if we still desire to be human again. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. I got as far as the first boss fight, as it were, in an effort to rescue Diglett from a scummery atop of Mount Steel. The scummery blames the Diglett for the recent seismic activity on the island, which seems a little far-fetched. But once we send the scummery flap and we're able to get the Diglett to safety with the aid of Magnemite we helped previously. We also get a chance to recruit one of them by way of adding camps for our new members, and this Wiggly Tuff's gonna help us with that. Camps, camps, we all love camps, just don't put the word concentration in front of it. In time, we get the Magnemite we call Trick to join Team Blues and counter both the good and bad in rescue teams, as well as coming to the realization that Diglett has... feet? That's about as far as I got, but I'll tell you, for the time I played it, it got me hooked. I like the fast-paced gameplay, the graphics are cute, and the story is very much Pokemon. Right up my alley. This was a good game to try out, but will it keep me away from Animal Crossing? I don't think so, but it did long enough for me to admire some more illustrations. Somebody was really proud of themselves. So with all that being said, what's my overall opinion? I didn't really know what I could expect going in, but I know now how I felt coming out, as happy as I was seeing the shack for the first time. The director's cut of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a fun remake with good visuals, fair gameplay, and an interesting plot to keep you interested and satisfied. I recommend trying it out if you want a different experience in the land of Pokemon. Not every day you can feel like a hero when rescuing some pocket monsters. Anyone remember Rescue Heroes? So what do you think? Do you agree with me? Or have your own thoughts? Let me know by leaving a comment. If you like what you see, like the video with those thumbs up. If you think anyone else would like this vid, share it around. And if you want to see more of me, this show, and others, hit the subscribe button. I'm Brian the Blue, thanks for watching. I'm going back to the past, and until next time, I'll see you in the future.